going to be expanding the goat pen again. Uh, not really expanding the pen, but I've given you guys some warning about this in the past as far as how we're going to be building uh, smaller pens within the goat pen for isolating different uh, ranks or whatever you want to call it, you know, the does from the bucklings from the bucks, so on and so forth. Uh, so, that means buying more panels and T-posts and gates and trying to make a, a corral system, basically. And now, we went to town, we've got four of these cattle panels. Four? We've got five of the inside four-foot gates. Okay, so yeah. Those in a bit. Um, and a whole bunch more T-posts. And actually, yep, we've got some yes. two-by-four wire mesh. You got those cattle four panels wires and that have pretty big openings in them. The goats can get stuck. Yeah, we don't want that. So we're going to put the mesh on the dollars. inside to prevent that and wire tie it all the panels. What are you doing, sir? I am looking at it. You're talking. Okay. Anyway, so, since these are my wife's goats and this is always her responsibility to take care of, she's conveniently missing. Um, and so I'm going to try to do this by myself until she gets out of here. I'm going to try to get these panels out of the truck. But you can see we've got them bowed in here. I've tied the ends together so they can't spring open. I'm going to try to just work them out of the bed of the truck. It stands up right here as an archway. That's the plan. Let's see if I can do it without killing myself. The first is get them off the gates. They're all hung on. Wow. Maybe get some of the gates out of the inside of them. If I can. It's kind of a cluster. We went to the town. I told my wife, hey, we should bring the trailer, but the trailer has a bunch of stuff on it. So she said, well, let's just not buy the panels. But I was like, well, we need to buy the panels because otherwise we're going to be back here like tomorrow and buy the panels. It's stupid. Let's just get them. So we made it work. But now I'm kind of paying the price. Okay. Panels have the bolts already on them. We get hung up on everything. Watch out! Watch out! I need you to step back. Stay back. Stay back behind the camera. Stay back behind the camera. This? It's got some tractor pins in it. Okay. You stay back behind the camera so you're a safe distance away, please. diamond tread actually I think the diamond tread cap actually took it are we still recording yay so the panels are out um, Emerson please don't step on that it's still not very stable what happened <laughs> I'm sure you guys saw but I went for a little ride there but these panels just slid under my feet Of course, if I'd, have tried, if I'd have tried to pull them all out of the truck, you guys know how that would have gone. I'd have fallen for another 30 minutes, wouldn't have been able to get them out. Yet somehow, when you don't want them to move, they just take off. Daddy, I love you. Oh, I love you too, buddy. Thank you. All right, so let's get the rest of this unloaded. We're going to kind of try to start laying stuff out and get an idea of where we want it all to go. And then we'll show you how it goes. All right, so let's go in here and see what we've done so far. We mostly wanted to just start getting a layout 
and really get an idea because we've drawn this on paper half a dozen times where it's all supposed to go but my wife and I are both kind of the type that you know you you have to start putting something in place to make sense of it so what we've come up with is basically where this t-post is here there'll be a gate coming across here and the fence will extend on over so we've got to get this uh, shed here moved torn down something um, but this will be the start of the alley so you'll be able to come into the alleyway shut the gate behind you and now you're isolated from everything you're in an alley come straight forward have a see here gate on the ground this will be a gate into the pen for the milkers so we want the milkers to be up front mm -hmm. so they're closest to the barn because they're going to be the ones that are going to be going in and out of the barn every single day twice a day so it makes sense to put them close up front their pen will actually wrap around over to this little piece not that it really needs to but it gives them this little bit extra wander space over here um and it will extend out that direction longer so they've actually got <clears throat> kind of a run their pen will come over to this corner <clears throat> excuse me and the their south fence line goes out here this next little pen starts here this we figured will be for the bread doughs or it can be a holding pen whatever it needs to be it'll go from there across over to this corner and you can see there'll be a gate here to get into this pen and there'll be a fence line running right here i don't think you can see the mark there's a dot of white paint right there that'll be a corner so there'll be a pen in this corner in here that we figure will be for the bucklings um and this will be the gate that gets you into the buckling pen and this will be the pen for the actual bucks we went ahead and built this one out as far as using panels that we have we've still got uh one or two more panels from what we bought today we kind of ran out of t-posts we've got a couple but we would have had to go pull them from somewhere else so we just quit for the day um there'll be a little short stub of panel here we've been cutting these panels with bolt cutters cut to fit and then there'll be a gate into the buck pin here and there'll be a gate here off the back of the alley as well so there'll be a gate on the front and the back of the alley and maybe really we don't need a gate on both ends but um <clears throat> and maybe we will still just close this end off and spare ourselves a gate but we did set it wide enough to put a gate here if we decide to um but yeah the point is you'll have an alleyway which will be covered because of course i'm going to extend this we're going to build a lean-to here out eight feet so every pin will have will be you'll be able to walk under the covered walkway in the alley and every gate access into every pin is under the covered walkway as well every single pin has access into the alley which is what you want so you can take goats from any pin as you need and then run them free in the alley around to the barn um, and not have to go through another goat pen or have you know another pin have free access to the alley if we want to again too by having gates on both ends we'll be able to open up the alleyway if we want to and just have it be a, a loop the gates can the goats can run if they want to or i guess Gosh, if it had to, it could be an emergency pin. It'd be an awkward, weird shape. But uh, anyway, then the ultimately, you've got all these pins and alleys into the to the barn. We'll have one more just kind of big, weird pin that wraps around outside. And we'll go all back in here. We'll all be kind of just the free pin. And we figure that'll be where we'll have junior does running um or whatever the bread does if we want to we can let them out with the juniors the only reason we isolate them right now um is just for the feed rations because we ration their pellet they get free range of everything else but we ration their pellet so anyway i know it still doesn't show you everything but i'll make another little update as we build more i just wanted to kind of give you guys an idea of the progress so now i've got to get that all cleaned up and we've got to get more posts and more panels uh, but we'll keep pecking away at it and we'll show you how she is when she's done.